So if there are more than one writers, then you can easily track changes and accept and reject changes inside of Adobe in copy. So uh, as an example, I'm just going to type in a sentence right here. So I'm just going to go around and say this is a paragraph just like this. So I'm just going to type in this is a paragraph. All right. So once I uh, write this out, I'm just going to copy and paste this around just like this. So I'm just going to go around and this is my uh, my dummy text. So what I want to do now is that whatever I write in now, there is no tracking uh, happening um, um, happening in any way. So you have to enable that up. So now let's say that this is going to be edited by someone else and you want to track those changes. So for that, what you have to do is you have to enable track changes. So for that, I'm going to go into Windows right here and here you can enable track changes just like this. So I'm just going to click on track changes and over here you can see that the tracking changes option uh, just opens up just like this. So over here on the top, you can see that the eye icon is there. So changes in scene. So you can also hide the changes as well. So in that case, you just hide the changes. So what you want to do is in order to enable tracking uh, the changes, um, tracking changes is by clicking on on this icon right here. So let me just click on enable track changes in current story just like this. So once I do that, what I can do is I can make any change. Let's say, for example, I'm going to change this paragraph into sentences like this sentence, just like that. And the changes will be tracked out here in the layout view. You don't see anything as such, but you see all the changes in the story view or galley view. So if I were to go to story view, you can see that this is there. So sentences uh, here, which has been marked out and paragraph is there and red is the color of the user that was selected in in copy. If you were to go to galley view, it's reflected there as well. So now with the track changes, now I know what the user did. So paragraph has been cut out and uh, it has been replaced with sentence right here. So let me just go out into layout again and then I'm going to go into, let's say, for example, I'm going to uh, just set out something. So I'm going to use find and change right here. So I'm going to find out, out paragraph just like this. So I'm going to find what paragraph and I'm going to change it to word just like this. So I'm just going to say change paragraph to word. I'm going to change all and now let's see what happens. So now everything has been changed and you don't see any changes being reflected here. But if I were to go into story, now you can see that all the changes are marked out. So word is there and paragraph is cut out. So what you can do now is go and keep your cursor here. You can use this arrow. So go to next change and you have an option whether you want to accept or reject the change. So I'm going to accept the change and then reject the paragraph. So I'm just going to go around, accept this as well. I'm going to go around again. So sentence, do I want to accept it? Yes. And then if you want to accept everything, then you can press this, accept all changes in the story, press OK, and all changes will be accepted. Or let me just press Control Z. And if you want to reject everything, then you press reject all changes in story. So once you click on that, all the changes will be reverted and um, that it will be rejected and you get to the previous state just like that. So let's see some other option over here as well. So this is to start tracking the changes. So if you don't want changes to be tracked uh, again, so you can just disable this out and whatever changes you make. For example, if you had to add something in, you go to story, this change has not been tracked as you can see. And if you want to hide the changes, you don't want to see what has been changed. You click on hide the changes and you don't see uh, the changes being tracked just like that. So you can enable and disable this out just like that. Another thing that you can do is you can go on to Windows and then you, you can open up change info. So once you go in change info, if you were to click on any one of the changes, you know who the changes has been done and when. So you can see that this is the date uh, that the change was made and this is the time the change was made. So you, you can see that the changes was deleted text. So if you were to click here, it says added text word. So word text, this is added. And if I were to go over here, it says it's a deleted text. 
And that is how uh, you can track changes inside of Adobe in copy. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.